Hello. This video will give you a brief overview of the Serial Code Validator WordPress plugin. With Serial Code Validator you can create and manage serial codes and serial numbers. Your users can also validate these serial codes on your website. Whether the serial code is placed on a package or device, it doesn't matter. You can also import your own codes. Optionally, it is also possible to generate serial codes with the sale of products and even sell tickets and validate them at the entrance with the ticket scanner. In the upper section we can find information about the plugin version and also the shortcode that you can include on a page to display the serial code validator for your users. There your customers will then check the serials. The first button support info gives you the support email address and some information that you should please include in the support case so that we can help you better. The button ticket scanner opens the ticket scanner with which you can validate the sold tickets. The button options leads us to the many settings for the serial code validator. Through the settings you can adjust the serial code validator to your circumstances like the status messages for the serial code validation. Whether tracking is enabled, whether you are allowed to check serial more than once or not. Whether the user of the serial can register on it. Whether there should be a redirect when the serial is successfully checked. To link maybe to another hidden download page or similar. Then still whether one would like to call webhooks after a check. If you want to activate the optional selling of serials, you can also define the format of the serials. It is also possible to restrict the sale of WooCommerce products, so that a purchase is only possible with a code. In addition, we can also determine how the ticket, i.e. the ticket and the PDF should look like, what should be displayed and more. Further below are also listed the placeholders that can be used for the redirect URL and webhook URLs. These will be replaced at runtime. With back we come back to the dashboard. The upper area shows you the code lists, which help to manage the serials in folders. These code lists are needed if you want to generate serial numbers via product sales or sell tickets. On the list itself you can also set a format that will be used when a serial is created on sale. In the lower area we have the serials and codes. The list can be searched and filtered. There is also the possibility to export the codes. By clicking on the icon we open the detailed view of the code with the information it contains about the user and the WooCommerce product if any. It is also possible to make changes here. Each code has a normal code display, without separators and a code display, display, with the separators in the code. To add more codes we use the wizard. It offers the optional generator to generate serial codes and serial numbers. The format can be set as desired. To protect the input of a code, you can also enter a CVV number, which, similar to a credit card, must be entered additionally when checking the serial. In this way, the serial can be placed on the packaging or device and the CVV number can be hidden in the packaging. Of course, you can also directly enter your already created codes in the second area, in the text area. One line is used per code. The generated codes are displayed below and you can customize or extend them. If you want, you can also select a code list here, which will be assigned to the codes. Click on store codes to store the codes on the server. In order for your users to be able to check the serial codes, you need to create another page and store the shortcode in it. Just enter the code and run the check. After that the system will report if the code is valid. It is also possible to create serial codes with the sale of a product in WooCommerce. To do this, you can select a code list in the product detail view. 
You can find the option in the Serial Code and Tickets tab. The system will automatically generate a code and attach it to the purchased product. There you can also specify whether you want to sell a ticket. Here you can also specify a list of codes that can be used to buy this product. If you have sold a ticket, your customer gets a link to the ticket. Your customer can also download the ticket as a PDF. The PDF contains a QR code that you can validate at the entrance with the ticket scanner. The ticket contains the product information and other data about the ticket, such as date and payment system. You can also control the information to be displayed via the options. The ticket scanner can be used on your mobile phone, via a tablet and also via desktop with a webcam. For a quick entry, you can use the option to validate the ticket directly with the scan.